Peace and blessings. We're back in another video. This video is going to be about um, horoscopes, astrology. Is it biblical? Does God want you to look at your horoscopes and the truth about horoscopes and where it comes from? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Before I even start it, let's go straight to the Bible. The reason why people, witches, wizards, unbelievers, infidels, the reason why they condemn the Bible, because this book goes against our lifestyle. This book teaches you to repent. They're not trying to repent. This book teaches you the truth. They don't have the spirit of truth in them. They have the spirit of the, of the world in them. All right, this book teaches you how to live. They're not trying to live the way the Bible says. They're not living the way God says. That's why they make excuses. Uh, man wrote the Bible. Uh, the Bible has been manipulated. The Bible has been twisted. These same people are the same people who still quote the Bible. Okay, they're deceived. Satan has them under his spell. So let's go. Let's get it. Do March chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. People keep saying, we're in the Bible to say horoscopes are bad, so I'm going to read it right from the book. King James Version. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God give thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among thee one that make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use div divination, or an observer of times, horoscopes, observer of times, horoscopes, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a new uh, necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God do drive them out before thee. Okay, so this the book makes it clear an observer of times. Well, doesn't horoscope teach you what's, how your day is going to be like today, next week, next month, or the year? That's horoscope. That's astrology. Now, my research that I did, I did read the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch taught uh, the fallen angels, devils. They taught men about the stars and stuff like that. And they pretty much taught men how to smoke weed, uh, use herbs to, um, to, to defy yourself, you know, by getting high. You know, God created the herbs, yes, for, for healing of a nation, but he didn't create anything to be smoked. Marijuana has its purposes in life. Um, I take sea moss, I take herbs every day, sea moss, ashkawanda, uh, burdock root, dandelion root. I'm always taking herbs, but when you smoke something, you defile yourself. So the, the fallen angels, it's like they, they, they use God's creation and they manipulated it and twisted it for to people to, you know, to sin and, you know, sin against their own body, their own temple. And um, uh, the book of Enoch, it's, it's, I only read it once. I only read the book of Enoch once. It was in 2019. And it definitely has a lot of insight of the world we live in today. And uh, so my story on my testimony, uh, that was like the only thing in the new age stuff I was really big into. I didn't know it was witchcraft. Um, I had no idea. Uh, and let me tell you guys, you could definitely use horoscopes to manipulate people. Uh, definitely. And I, I was doing that unawarely, you know, because horoscopes teaches you, okay, Gemini's weakness is this, um, an Aries weakness is this, or, um, a Virgo is this, this type of strength, right? Their, their, their strength or weaknesses. And you could use their weaknesses and to manipulate them. Now, I don't know. I, I it's been years since I've been following horoscopes. So I don't know exactly how it was, but I do remember, I would get into relationships and I would use it to manipulate. Oh, she's a Gemini. So I know her weaknesses, you know, and stuff like that. Like, and that's a witchcraft, you know, a, a manipulation. That's a form of witchcraft. When you're manipulating someone, that's a form of witchcraft. And the horoscopes taught me that, you know, and I had no idea that the Bible says that was an abomination to God. You know, the Bible, um, what God wants to do, he wants to read his word. He wants to do the will of the father and he wants to be, receive the Holy Spirit and do the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The God, God does not want anyone practicing witchcraft. All right, what prof? What is the prophet? Someone to like? Even me, when I was looking at horoscopes, like God didn't leave me out of it. I got bored of it, bro. And then, then I eventually found out, oh, that's an abomination to God. I got bored of it, like, bro, like I don't want to see how my life is gonna be. Like, I want to live my life. I don't want to see how my the, what. And there's, I remember 2014. I'll never forget this. That's when I first found horoscopes. I don't remember how who, who led me to it. I think it was like on social media, people would be posting this. I was like, what the heck is this horoscope? So I downloaded the app. And it was in 2014, I remember, and it shows you the days, the months, and the years. And my, my birthday is in April, so I, to, to the horoscopes, I'm an Aries. And I remember I looked at the Aries and said, uh, this year, you're going to find the love of your life in March or something like that. And it was January. It was, I said March or April. And it was January, the first day of January. So I was like, okay, like, what's this about? And then no lie, when March came, uh, I found I got in a relationship. Because you can't make this up, bro. So I'm not saying that horoscopes... It's, it's false. It's not true. There is some truth to it, but God makes it clear. He says that's an abomination. And me being a follower of Christ, me being, you know, serving the most high God. If you say this abomination, don't eat pork. Don't eat unclean food. Okay, I'm not going to eat it. Don't look at horoscopes an abomination. Okay, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it because I love God. I'm a follower of God. I'm not lukewarm. Okay, I'm not double-minded. I'm not going to come up with excuses 
to, to say, oh, man uh, made the Bible or the man twisted the Bible or, you know, excuses. Because, like I said, people who say those excuses is because this book, it condemns their lifestyle. It condemns their lifestyle. It forces them to repent. So they, they ain't trying to do that. These witches ain't trying to repent. But you witches need to be happy because back in the Bible days, it's, or back in the Old Testament, it said about we suffer not a wish to live. So every all you witches should be giving thanks to Jesus. He's giving you grace every single day. You know, you should be giving all praise to the most high. Because if, if it wasn't for Christ, y'all would have been dead. You know, y'all would have been dead. So y'all going to be careful practicing the horoscopes and astrology. And I know some people are going to watch this video. And then they're going to be like, well, dang, the Bible does say that. But they're still going to do it. Because many are called fewer chosen. All right? You even have witches on YouTube calling themselves chosen ones, bro. But you got to remember this too, though. The devil also has his chosen ones too. The devil also, you know, has his counterfeits. He's a, he's a copycat. You know, yeah, witches calling themselves chosen ones. Uh, crystals, sage, uh, chakras, all this witchcraft, you know, um, astrology, tarot cards, cards all divin divination BS, okay? And like I told you guys, there's a movie called um, Div Divination. It came out in 2011 or 2012. Um, a great movie for y'all to watch, whether you're a believer or not, because that video goes deep on the spiritual realm. Uh, it talks about how there's a witch who came into, a, um, this couple was getting married. I won't, I won't, Go too deep in the movie. I won't want to root for you guys, but pretty much putting this like a trailer. A witch gets um, there's two believers about to get married. They're both coming to God, and a witch. The enemy sends a witch into uh, his wife's life, and she's bringing in div divination. And they're, and because of they're opening those doors, you gotta be careful when you open witchcraft doors, divination doors, because now you have demonic spirits in your life. You're in darkness. There is no such thing as a good witch. We suffer not a witch to live. It doesn't mean we suffer the bad, uh, the good witches to live and the bad not to live. No, we suffer any type of witch. There's no such thing as a good witch. There's no such thing, all right? And the Bible makes it clear. You know, like I said, I know people are going to watch this video and still going to do it. Hey, many are called for your chosen. It is what it is. I gave it up. Like I said, when I gave it up, it wasn't even because of God. I gave it up because I just got bored of it. And then a, a few months later, I found out. One of my friends told me, it's like, Mark, you know, that stuff's demonic. You know, I was like, I don't even, I don't, I told him I don't even look at that no more. You know, so God, maybe God delivered me from it before, but I just got bored of it. Um, I mean, I was looking at it, it was 2014, the first time I looked at it. And like I said, guys, I'm honest. I'm an honest man. I'm gonna let y'all know there is some truth to it. I'm, I keep it real. You know, I keep, there is some truth to it. You know, even, just because, even though it is demonic, there is some truth to it. The devil gives you a little bit of truth. Okay. He does that. How else is he going to learn you But what does it profit you? It doesn't profit me anything. You know, I got bored of it, bro. <laughs> like I was in the world and I got bored of it. So what, what uses it? And like I said, I was, many people use uh, horoscopes to manipulate other people. Many people do that unawarely or, you know, co consciously or unconsciously. They do that, you know, and also, um, you know, people look at it like their Bible. They wake up every day and the first thing they click on is a horoscope app. They, they won't go to the, the word. They won't use the Bible app if they even have it. They won't use that. They won't pray. And ask God, thank you for another day of living, but they'll go straight to it. So anything to, that's what the devil is, to, to, to create things to, to stray you away from God. To have you be your own God. To have you be worship. You don't need the creator. You don't need the Bible. You don't need the Holy Spirit. You don't need Jesus. You need yourself. It teaches you how to be a narcissist. That's how the Bible says in the last days, many will be lovers of themselves. Because that's how, that's how people are being programmed. Worship yourself. You are your own God. You know, you don't need the most high God. You need yourself, you know, and that's how people are deceived. You don't, you need, you need the Holy Spirit. You need Jesus Christ, the Savior, of our, uh, the Savior of our, of our flesh, which the Bible mentions. So that's what it's all about. Be very careful because if you do horoscopes, you could open demonic doors for divination, spirits of divina uh, divination, uh, witchcraft. You're building the stronghold in your mind and best believe it, it's all BS, guys. Delete the app, delete it, bro. I just gave you all a verse, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Uh, of observers of times, that's horoscopes. Okay, many people are, who call themselves Christians are going to watch this video, guys, and they're still not going to put it down because it's a stronghold and like the devil has them under a delusion, guys. He has them under a stronghold, but you can break free. Those who humble themselves, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And so once you give it up, you will get attacked. You, The devil will, and that's how you know it's the truth, because the devil doesn't want you to leave darkness, so he's going to attack you. He's going to be pissed off. Okay, so he's going to attack you. Now you got to, you know, put on the full armor of God on Get ready for spiritual warfare and fight. You got to fight, bro. Fight the good fight of faith and understand that when you when you humble yourself to God and you submit yourself to him, he has you back. He has you covered. So just this is just a message, guys, a warning to stay away from the horoscope. Stay away from astrology. 
It's demonic. It's an abomination towards God. You've been warned. I love you so much. Like and subscribe. Peace.